You're watching WGN Morning News at 8. going outside and grilling barbecue recipes and we're getting tips on creating the perfect outdoor summer barbecue. Also had this morning, he's talking. Hey, Tom. Hey, Val. Carlin Berghoff from 17 West at the Berg office here. I've already got a plate of food. We are barbecuing for the 4th of July and you have all kinds of tips for barbecuing, for keeping the bugs away, all kinds of great food. Uh, where do we start? With the turkey. Wonderful. So what we've got is just a 10 pound turkey and pesto and I marinate the turkey with the pesto for a couple of days, but today, if it was just an hour or two, that would give it a lot of great flavor. You just push it around in the pesto, cover it. We serve a lot of turkey at 17 West of the Burgoff. Sure. And this is more a catered event turkey, uh -huh. but they love it. And then you just put it on the grill. We love you. Whenever you come in, I get excited because you're cooking, I'm eating. And I'm that's, eating right now. This is the turkey I'm having. That's awesome. It is so awesome. You, the, I spent about 45 minutes to an hour with the turkey on the grill, basting it and turning it. And this is what it looks like in a finished state. It is an absolutely unusual combination with the barbecue sauce and the pesto, but it works. It works all right. I love it. It's brilliant. What else are we doing? Well, the other thing we're doing is um, tortellini, a pasta tortellini salad with a vinaigrette, and uh, another salad with tomatoes and a vinaigrette. And I'm a big proponent of vinaigrettes and not mayonnaise in okay. the summertime because mayonnaise can make you sick if it sits out for too long. Ah. So it's really important to stay away from mayonnaise in the summer. You're keeping us healthy. I'm keeping you healthy. I thought you guys were doing something. Todd, Sarah, what are you doing? Are you going to skewer some vegetables or some fruit or something yeah. for us? So okay. we also have a fruit salad, or an, a different way of doing fruit gets your family involved. Mm -hmm. It looks really nice. You just skewer it into the side of a pineapple, and people like the shape. And then for a healthy dessert and something on the lighter side, because right. it is summer and we just don't want to eat too much, we made a, a lemon poppy seed pound cake, and we served it with fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. And to finish, I think it's very important to always have a lot of beverages to keep people hydrated and happy. We have lemonade, iced tea, and of course, Burgoff root beer. It's so key. Burgoff root beer. The best. Hydration is very, very important. You guys know that, right? Now Absolutely. To, to keep the bugs away, you have to not, you have to think about bugs because they are a big part of our life in the summer. Sure. I strongly suggest if you're a big entertainer that you go to your, your hardware store and you get a bug bomb. Okay. First, you light your citronella candles, which is really important. About 30 minutes before your party starts, you light your candles and you bomb your yard. And what's terrific is you can get really attractive ones get, like exactly. this one here. At, very cute. They look great around your yard. You can also use torches. Right, big tiki candle. Another thing to have that's really important is like bug wipes or bug spray. Sure. Because the bugs come from anywhere. So I always, I would always have a container of that. Now we're in the middle of ending our cicada season, which okay. is a really weird thing for Chicago. And the yards have been smelling. So I suggest you use coffee, sprinkle it in your yard, and it takes away the dead cicada smell. Seriously. Seriously. So there's all sorts of things to make your guests comfortable, and that's one of them. The other thing is to think about, you know, your beverages and chilling uh -huh. and to have about two pounds of ice per person because ice melts really fast in the summer, so it's a really good gauge for chilling. Um, and then just make sure you have fun. Always with the great ideas, but the key is always to have fun. Todd, Sarah, you have a message for Chicago on this 4th of July. What is it? Happy 4th of July. There it is. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Be sure to stay tuned. Reggae music from Leon and the Peoples when we come right back.